Hey, what is up, boys? It's me back today with another video. And before the video starts, if you guys could please use my code in the Fortnite item shop, I would greatly appreciate it and it would mean the world to me. So, yeah, thank you if you are using my code. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you do DM me proof of you buying something in the item shop with my code, I will give you a shout out on my Instagram. And also, don't forget to follow my Twitter. I'm going to start posting on there more because I never do. And if you are new, as always, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be notified every time I post. Thank you, and have a nice day. Hey, yo, what is up, boys? This is me back today with another video. And in today's video, I'm actually very excited to be showing you guys my warm-up routine that I use just to warm up for any type of tournament that I play, whether that be a cash cup, a dream hack, FNCS, anything like that. This is what I use to warm up. So yeah, I'm very excited to be showing you guys today. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in order to warm up and reach your full potential inside any type of tournament, the first thing you're gonna need to do is warm up your aim. And I chose this map because I always use this map to warm up my aim. This is probably one of the first things I do whenever I hop on. As you can see, you got different things that you could practice in. Um, you got realistic edits. You got a free build if you would like. You have your reaction time they can warm up on your aim. You got your crosshair aim. And yeah, so pretty much I just do this. I'm going to be showing you guys the glide. And I actually do this all the time. The glide will warm up your aim just in case like anyone's gliding in game. You could get an easy beam off on them, maybe even kill them. So pretty much you have a time, you have a reset button, and you have a free play. So as you can see, it redirects you to wherever you are or wherever the zombie's gonna be flying from. So you know exactly where to shoot at. And as you can see, you see the zombie and boom, you pretty much just practice your aim on this. Uh, I usually play this for like 15 minutes to warm up. This whole warm up actually takes around like 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast you are at it. But it's actually really effective to use. Once you are done with this course, the glide course, you could just emote to go back to where you were before or you could just come over here and press the green button behind here and return to the lobby and boom you're back inside it and for the next thing i do after i'm done warming up my glide aim i go to my crosshair to help me get crosshair placement help my crosshair out and you could do a timed one just like this so as you can see whenever i shoot my crosshair directly moves somewhere else so it really practices like your uh, reaction time to when your crosshair moves and how fast you can get your crosshair on the target. So yeah, it's a really effective way to warm up your crosshair aim. And as you can see, it keeps the score in the top right corner. It will have your score whenever your time. So yeah, just try to beat your time. If you do use this map, comment below what your fastest time is and what your best score is. And once I am done with that, I pretty much just go back to the lobby, go to the free build and just practice my free build. Once you get inside the free build map, I recommend you pick up this grappler because you're going to really need it uh, in case you fall in the water and you need to grapple back up. Or you could get a glow outline if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. Just whatever you want. It's a cool little map that you could do any type of free build on. Once I am done warming up my aim and my free builds, I just come over here to this tunnel course if you guys do not know, you're going to have the tunnel in any type of tournament that you play in. Whether it's a stacked endgame or not, I'm pretty sure they're going to be playing it like a scrim lobby. So yeah, you're going to want to practice your tunneling a lot. And this map is actually perfect for it because I'm going to show you why right now. Upon entering the map, you're actually in a room. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to come over here and get some hills. Because in this map, you are going to have robots or AIs shooting at you. Um, you could come over here and pretty much you can see the ai's in there it says all directions that you're gonna have to protect or you can go to this one and block the right side that you need to protect or you could just come over here and block off the left side pretty much what i do first is just go to block every side so i could get my uh, tunneling warmed up faster and easier And this was the main purpose for getting the shields at the beginning inside the chest is because as you guys can see now i just got hit by an ai the ais are actually starting to hit me and everything so yeah you're gonna want to heal up and make sure you don't die because if you do die the whole map does restart so yeah you do not want to do that 
right now i'm just showing you guys what it looks like in the other course where you got to block off the right side and yeah this is what it looks like it's pretty self-explanatory you just block off the right side and that's pretty much what the left side is you're just blocking off your left side so yeah i just wanted to give a brief explanation of it so i don't make the video any longer than it already is once i am done warming up my tunneling i just come back to the hub and then i load up this edit course and when i say that this is the only edit course you're ever going to need i actually mean it it is raiders edit course and this edit course i've been using since like i'd say four seasons ago and i've still using it i use it every day to warm up this edit course is probably the best edit course i've played in my life it's definitely helped me out a lot and improved my edits a lot so yeah i'm gonna put the map code on the screen right now but yeah this is just highlights from the edit course uh you have many different types of edits it's actually really insane and you also could warm up your shotgun aim as you can see as i hit the target Once I'm done warming up my edits, I pretty much just go back to the hub and I play some of the hub matchmaking games. If you guys do not know what the hub matchmaking games are, I'm pretty much just going to show you right now. Whenever you do load up inside the hub and you return to hub, you will look behind you and you will see that there are these boards. Once you go up to the boards, all you pretty much got to do is hold X or square whatever system you're on. You pretty much just gotta hold it down and you're gonna be put into matchmaking whatever one you want to play you could choose so as you can see we are loading now into a matchmaking with people we did load into a matchmaking where they already played three of the five games so the rest of the video is just going to be some highlights from the two games that i am playing right now so yeah if you want to click off on the video you can it doesn't really matter i don't really care just go ahead and click off thanks for watching if you did make it this far though and if you are new, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be notified every time I post. And that is the video for today, boys. Peace.